This video shows how to finalize the preparation of a BIS for VISTA by importing the survey area definition file, which was prepared with the SADT. Two other video tutorials show how to prepare observing strategy and edit template OBs. We now start from here. We have defined two loose OBs, a group with three OBs, one per band, a time link of four OBs, and con concatenation with two OBs. Before importing survey area definition file, let us decide on the relative priorities for the execution of these OBs and containers. This can be seen in the schedule view. Each OB, each loose OB, and each container has a user priority. This is a number between 1 and 10, with smaller number giving higher priority, um, which defines the preferred order of execution of different containers in OBs, in case when on a given night the observer can choose from several of them because they have similar coordinates and observing constraints. Use it priority can be changed by clicking on the number and changing it. The OBs that belong to groups have contribution to group, with a higher number defining higher contribution to group, and this OB in this group will be executed first. OBs in the time link have relative time delays after which they have, after the previous they OB they have to be executed. So that means essentially that the, after the first OB has been executed, the second one has to be done between 5 and 15 days. And after the second one has been done, then the third one has to be observed between 4 days and 20 days after the previous and then 4 and 19 days after the previous. OBs in time link have to be executed in this specific order, while OBs in all the other uh, group time link, uh, group concatenation or loose OBs do not have a fixed order. OBs in a concatenation, however, have to be executed back to back. Finishing the setup of the observing strategy, we can import the server definition file. This file contains information about tile centers, kite stars and active optic stars necessary for efficient execution of survey observations. Another video shows how to prepare a template area definition file. Um, we first select an OB and then import survey definition. We will select survey 1 for this case and this survey contains two tiles. And that means that the object that we have selected, this loser B, we will, do, will be duplicated twice. After selecting yes, we can see two new OBs. These OBs have blue tick marks, meaning that they are complete, while all the other OBs that have been created as templates have red dots. These red dots mean that there are some errors, some missing information. As a matter of fact, if we look at this OB, uh, this OB has some paw print information missing and the target information is missing. If, however, we, looked at, we look at the OB for, um, that has survey area definition imported, we see that the coordinates have been uh, edited and that the survey path files with coordinates of the guide stars have been added as well. Now we will add survey area definition for other files, for other observations, and for containers we select the container and import survey area definition. This creates two new containers, each with its three OBs. survey file contains four tiles and that means that four new concatenations have been created. Finally we have to add also the time link with importing survey definition which will create two time links. Now in the schedule view we should review the survey strategy and refine it. This is the shown in the next tutorial.